All right, we're now back with Today Food, and we've got Shake Shack CEO Randy Garuti and Culinary Director Mark Rosati in the house together. They've written the Shake Shack Cookbook. It is filled with recipes and tips you need to make one of their famous burgers at home. Guys, good morning. Nice to see you. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Are you crazy? <laughs> Are you going to give the secret recipe away for people to make at home? You know, for all those people yeah. who don't yet have a shack near their hometown, we had to give them a way to do it. Now, we didn't give away the exact recipe, only at the shack, but we did it with the ingredients you have in your fridge to get as close as possible. We know it all yep. comes down to the secret sauce, but you're yeah. holding out on us, right? Well, <laughs> what we want to do is we want to make this very easy right. you know, for everyone to make at home. So we have some mayonnaise. To that, we're going to add a little bit of ketchup. We're going to add a little bit of Dijon mustard. And then over here, we have some cayenne pepper for spice. And my favorite ingredient right here, we have pickling liquid. You know oh. that, that pickle okay, you have? Yeah. Yeah. The one you have in your refrigerator, you keep the liquid in and you never know what to do with the liquid? Yeah. Save it. It's gold. We're going to add that in, and it's going to give great acidity to our final sauce. And if you were making that at Shake Shack, what other ingredient would you add? We're not going to tell you that, man. Uh, yeah. Nice try. Nice try. Just tell me in my ear. The TLC. Oh. Oh. Let's get some buns going here. All right. You mix up the sauce. Yeah. Natalie, head over to the buns I'm here. smash a burger, right? Right. All right, or so the you, buns first. We love a good, pillowy, soft potato bun. Mm -hmm. All right? We get a little bit of butter on that. And, Mark, what do we want it to look like here when we... When this comes off, up? we want that inside to look like French toast. Golden brown, that. a little crispy, so the soft bun on the outside is pillowy, but the inside a little crispy. All right. Natalie, let's Perfect. get a burger going. Okay. Are you let's feeling how those four months I'm smashing. I'm ready. All I'm ready. No hormone, no antibiotic, whole muscle. Go to your favorite butcher. Okay. Make it about four ounces. Yep. Is that all beef? This is 100% beef. 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 Yep. Your favorite you whole muscle. Kind of in there. No, sir. So how... We want to smash it pretty thin. Use that one on top. Okay. Okay, then push, push down, down with that one. Just keep going. Keep going. And why is Maybe it a little bit so good? Thin. That's great. So, what we're trying to do here is we're going to put that meat directly on that hot, hot surface, make a nice sear on it, and right. create a beautiful crust. And it's going to lock in all the juices. It's all about okay. contrast of flavors. We have a burger right here. We're going to top it with some cheese. Can we just say, though, once you do it the first time, yep. once it starts to cook and get juicy, you don't do it you again? You do not press. In the very beginning, all that juice is on the inside of the mm. meat, it's not liquefied. Once you actually start to cook it, if you press on down, all that juice that's becoming liquidy, it's going to push out so the you burger. you do it you right when you that. put it on. Yep. Think about okay. the, the pro tip at home when you're at your outdoor grill. You're always pushing that meat down and you're losing yep. all the flavor. Yeah. That's why the shack and in the book, we tell you to do it on a flat top griddle. Okay. Get that yeah. Let's, Let's build maintain the, burger. the juices here. All right. So we have some buns here. We're going to put some uh, burgers in there for you guys. That's my favorite part. <laughs> Good I've been waiting all morning for this. This is the fun part. So what we we're going to do this. is add a little bit of sauce to the top of the bun. Secret sauce. Exactly. Exactly. You want to get it all the way around. This sauce nice. looks a little different Perfect. than at Shake Shack. What's missing from that sauce? <laughs> you guys are good. You're very you good. Really are holding out on us. All right. There is one ingredient missing. We're going to take a piece of lettuce, a nice, beautiful green leaf, and we're going to place it right on the top here and have it just come out a little bit. Oh, it's so beautiful. Yes. And the Shack Burger is very visual. It's very simple, but very oh, visual. On both sides. Beautiful. And then what we're going to do is top it with a little bit of tomato. Okay. There you go. Put it right towards the top there. One. And then we're going to do two because they're so delicious and fresh. Now you like a double burger? <laughs> uh, <laughs> what about that hinge, though? Sure, you talk that. about that hinge. The hinge of these potato buns okay. is really key because once you shut the bun, you'll notice we have a hinge here. When you bite into it, all that juice is going to be captured uh, in the hinge so you don't lose don't anything. That's your last your bite. That's yes. the bite you want last. Good. But okay. you'll just get a little bit there, so all right. totally good. Now, you good. guys <laughs> could have chosen when you started this any kind of French fries you wanted. Yes. What kind of research went into deciding that you would be the crinkle cut <laughs> french fry people. And this has been a controversy for years at Shake Shack and we yes. just learned that it takes you back to those old roadside burger stands that Shake yeah. Shack was patterned after. The classic crispy crinkle cut fries and in the book we tell you how to make them at home in a three step process. And it's a very complicated process to create a great crispy fry and we have some right here. Uh, what we actually do is we first blanch them in water to get the cooking process started. Thank you. We let them dry out and then we fry them twice to create a nice crispy crust. It's a lot of work. We feel it's the best way of creating a french fry. And the other uh, special yeah. thing that we do, one of our pro tips, as soon as it comes out of the oil, you want to add the salt so the salt melts in and you get a crispy, salty, crunchy fry to go with your burger and your milkshake. So they're still so hot much. and still yes, greasy, right? Yes, guys, cheers. Absolutely. Shall we? Cheers. cheers. Congrats on the Thank new cookbook. You. Thank you so Thanks, much. Thanks, Thanks, appreciate it. Sharing the here. secrets. And for more of these recipes and the Shake Shack cookbook, head to today.com slash food. Yummy. We're back in a moment. This is today on NBC. All right, now we eat. Now we eat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for doing it. Oh, you kidding? No.
Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.